what, what, what is the most standout moment you've experienced so far in the series? Standout moment yeah, I mean, in, in season of, two? Well, overall, and then coming into season two. Oh gosh, well the most standout moment was coming on board, I think. Was you're gonna be Michael Burnham, you know? You're gonna be the lead of this iteration. I mean, that was, I don't think a moment can stand out more than that one, right? Finding out that I was gonna be doing this. And then with Susan, so, so, so from that, what was the standout so far in season two? Um, I think, but you can tell us. yeah, well, what I can say, um, that trailer is freaking fantastic. It brought tears to my eyes, but um, I can say that what is, and this is a sort of general statement, but it is true, um, what stands out is the emotion in season two. Um, when I say, oh, I was like, what do you need me to do? <laughs> um, but when I say that it's deeply emotional, of course it, it looks very action packed and, and sure, and that's great, you know, but, but it is so emotional to the point where I, I think about the experience the audience is going to have and I just pray that people are open to it. Because it's the kind of emotion that wrenches you. And I pray that people are, that everybody is like ready to go on the journey with us. Because it asks a lot of you, of your heart, basically. Speaking of journey, I do, I am curious. Oh, uh, you wanna go? Yes. Yeah. Don't forget your question. I won't go. Okay. This show is very different from the Star Trek that a lot of people are used to. It's very emotional, uh, yeah. groundbreaking in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. um, how do you feel connected to the old show and characters like Michelle Nichols? Yeah. Like, was groundbreaking and you're in groundbreaking Oh, gosh. I, I mean, I, we really stand on their shoulders. Yeah. I mean, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for them and for the example they set. Um, this legacy wouldn't be what it is without the people that have been a part of it over the last 52 years. Happy belated birthday to Star Trek, right? Um, but I think that I, I feel very connected, especially now that I've been in this story and in this federation, in Starfleet, and taking on these ideals and, and seeing what they feel like and letting them run through my heart. So now I feel more connected than ever. And I was certainly as a little girl, though I didn't watch Trek specifically, I remember Nichelle and of course seeing myself in her and being so excited. And now I understand more than ever what how, how powerful her decision to join the show really was. And, how it was such a stride forward in the civil rights movement. Um, so I, I feel very connected. I feel very much a part of the family. And we've been welcomed as such. Okay. First of all, if you could just, if you could show some excitement. In I know, house. I know, I know. I'm so dull. Emotion. I know. I, so uh, I'm all very boring. Oh, my goodness. Uh, anyway, in any case, you, know, you mentioned the journey of this year. For Burnham, what is her journey? I don't know in terms of spoilers, but as a person, I mean, what's sort of the next stage of her evolution for season two? I love that question. I think the next stage of Burnham's revolution and evolution is um, self-redemption. Um, redemption was such a huge arc in season one with Burnham, um, taking the, the, <laughs> the hardest fall you can take and then having to come back from that and, and seeking, seeking forgiveness and redemption um, professionally, um, interpersonally, but then also intimately. Um, and, and that's what is ultimately most important is can I forgive myself and can I, can I move forward? We're good. It's still ticking. Okay. Um, can I move forward um, uh, in good faith? Can I move forward um, being confident in who I am and the choices I've made um, and even the mistakes I've made? You know, uh, not necessarily confident, but can I accept them and learn from them? And so I think that there's a, I say something to Sarek in episode um, one of season one, the pilot. Um, I say that my emotion informs my logic, but what I'm finding is that I need to discover how my logic informs my emotion as well. And that's a huge journey because it's really about accepting all of me and figuring out how all of it can work together. What did you say? I do. My husband's still on it. And I would anyway, but yeah. You said that this is going to be like really wrenching and very emotional. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's a lot more levity this season too because the war is over, right? So there's time to joke and smile and laugh and have fun. Um, so while it is deeply emotional, it is also it has a lot more um, lightheartedness to it as well, which I think people will really enjoy. Yes. Yes. 
Uh, yes. So the relationship between Spock and Burnham is very complicated. Um, it's very complicated, and it's going to require a lot of work. And I, I appreciate how they've laid it out because it is not easy. And it's very raw and we really delve into it as, as deep as we possibly can so I'm really looking forward to people seeing it. Do you have a favorite Star Trek episode for all the Star Any of these Star Trek? You don't make don't make it so crazy make it up. Oh gosh. Tower of Babel maybe? Alright. 